Hi Manu, I'm really sorry about uh, the delay. I was trying to get the movie uh, together but uh, getting it on um, in the fashion we did last time is taking a very long. So I'm just recording this uh, and I'm using uh, drawing paper uh, to draw because it's a lot faster and I'll explain um, the marking for the DFTs. Okay, so the whole point is <coughs> you have a solution and the solution has a context DFT which is the highest level DFT which shows the system and the system's relationship with external entities or external entities are basically users of the system and then uh, you have a zero DFT now the zero DFT is one level down from context that is you're taking the system and then you're breaking the system down one level to show what is inside the system. So if you look at context and zero closely, you will see nothing changes on the outside. Uh, you basically explore the central system or the process to show the functions or functionality inside. Now the solution that is given has four processes or four functions and the students are asked to break down um, two of those processes one more level so basically take it one more level below the zero diagram okay so the principle is quite simple the principle is um, you break it down and the focus uh, is basically the process you're breaking down so if you look at the solution DFT uh, I don't have it with me so I'm just making um, examples I'm just using an example here so in in let's say in a Let's say in a zero DFT, you have a process labeled 1.0 and process labeled 2.0, which is 1 and 2. And then you have an external entity customer and maybe a data store, uh, let's say called orders. Okay. The data flow that is shown on zero DFT, and this is zero, okay, is let's say order. And this process is called, let's say, um, process customer order okay. and what this process does is basically two things one is it stores the order which is processed now so we just change the name to processed customer order the difference just being it has a date time order number attached to it maybe a small change and this process um, then passes data flow let's say to store customer data so another data store called customers and store customer details and let's say process number two has the responsibility of taking orders and which are processed orders so processed orders and let's say taking payment from customer and taking order details to see how much they must pay and then generating a receipt and this process let's say is called process payment so when the payment is processed obviously uh, this data store stores in a uh, payments it stores processed payment Okay, I'll just stop here and then I'll close it up, uh, um, take a close up, I'm sorry.